the leaders in this business teach, and you guys were incredible. I mean, the information that all of you got is just so valuable. But the thing that kept coming to mind for me was simple. How simple this business really is. But the problem is we always get in the way, right? Because it's simple until we have to do it. And then all of a sudden it kind of begins to kind of reflect our inadequacies or the things we're afraid of or the things we fear and all those kinds of things. But one of the things Dave said, which I thought was great, he talked about transference of belief. And I really believe if you define selling, selling is a transference of belief. That's what it is. When you believe what I believe about these problems, you're going to be in my business. My job is to help you believe it. But I can't, I can't communicate that unless I believe it. Right? That's where it has to start. Let me give you an example of that. How many of you have seen these power balance bracelets? How many of you guys seen these bracelets? Okay, my son owns this company, he and his partner and two other guys. Right? They did $5 million in sales in 2009. They did $55 million in sales in 2010. Now, they spent a year studying this product at the University of Wisconsin and found out inconclusive. That's what came back, inconclusive. What that means is it doesn't not work, it doesn't for sure work. Right? <laughs> okay, so, I mean, that it came back inconclusive, but now Kobe Bryant wears one, LeBron James wears one, every major, they just signed the NFL, every major quarterback wears one. Now that all those people wear them, guess who wants to wear them? All your kids want to wear them. Michael Neiman's son, I gave him one. He scored 30 points in his basketball game that day. Done deal. He never takes it off. <laughs> day or night. But I say that because now that, you know, I, I've been kind of passing these out around the country as I talk to people about them, the stories I get back on Facebook, you know, I have this sort of uh, elbow. I, nothing made it work. Now that I'm wearing power bombs, it works unbelievably. You know, a guy who's an amputee, he goes, I'm sharing with the amputees that my balance is better than it's ever been in my life. So all of those things work because why? Because they believe it works. And I believe the product works too, but at the same time, what's most important about it is what they think of the product, right? And that's what makes it real to them. And I think if we transfer that into our business, that's exactly what our business is. Because if you believe, if I believe in this business, then you're going to believe in it. And part of it is, I think, a lot of the times we just want to sell people on P90X because it's a great product. And we want to sell people on Shakeology because it's a great product. But once you understand the business, and really the business is kind of getting all of the business, you know, one of the things when I speak and I get a chance to travel and speak, I want to say, by the time I'm done today, I want you to get it. If you get it, you're going to build a huge organization. Because really what we're doing, when we think about it, and I, I was talking to Carl about this recently, my mantra for this year is redefining the individual, redefining the individual life so as to redefine the health of a nation. And that's what we're doing, every single one of us. Redefining our individual lives so that we can redefine the health of a nation. Because it has to start it. Every one of the speakers talked about personal use, using the product, redefining how I love, you know, redefining what it's done for me in my life. And so to think you can build this business and not be on the products, it's not going to work for you. And it doesn't mean you have to have this huge transformation. So many people that get in this business are worried, well, I haven't lost 80 pounds. I haven't lost 100 pounds. How am I going to share my story? Is it Ilana? Is that how you say your name? Alana. I'm sorry? Alana. Alana? Beautiful name. Her story is absolutely unbelievable. But to see her standing up here and sharing the way she did, if she hadn't shared her story with you about the way she was when she got started, none of us would believe that, right? Because of who she is now. Mm -hmm. But the greatest thing, I was talking to Brett Blake about this the other day, and I've been talking to him for a year about this business is truly life stories. It's the change of people's yeah. lives. And you know, for so long, Brett's been, we've been thinking about another promotion, and different things we can do. I said, Brett, if we can capture people's stories, and let them share the stories of their lives. This business, will, no one will stop us. We'll have 100,000 uh, coaches in no time. And I think all of us need to realize that, that it, our life is our story. Because I don't know where all of you have come from, but I know that for most of us, we live this life that's kind of inconclusive because we really haven't gotten the belief yet that we need to have, and number one, ourselves, and number two, in this business. But see, I look at eight out of 10 people today don't like what they do. I know it's a dream for Dave to get out of being an attorney. He didn't like what he did. Whether it be, I mean, you know, it's, it's, you get in, you go after something for a while, and you think it's going to be great, and every time they turn a new page, you go, God, it's not what I expected it to be. You expect it to be better. So if 8 out of 10 people, and you sitting in this audience, if you have a job, then 8 out of 10 of us don't really like what we do for a living. If that's true, then our life is kind of inconclusive. We've got to change that, because most of us in our lives have given responsibility of our lives to someone else, and that's who we work for. And we've given them responsibility for our lives. Because they make the decisions on how much money we make, when we can go on vacation, whether you can watch your kids' little league game, when you can take a day off. And I'm not here to put down jobs, but I'm just saying for most of us, we want to take responsibility for our lives. And that and not live an inconclusive life, but one of belief, and one of taking responsibility and saying, in 12 months from today, I'm not going to ever be 
where I am today. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, God willing, we're all going to be alive 24 months from today. But whether you, if you don't make changes in your life 24 months from today, if you came back in this auditorium, you had a weekend just like this, and you sat in your same seat, and if you didn't change something in your life, then you know what? That's your responsibility. And the thing I love about this business, and the thing I've loved about the business since I, I got started my own network business way back in the, you know, the hardening of the crust in 1979, <laughs> back in the beginning of time, and, and I started to use cassette tapes. You know, we didn't have CDs. I mean, I didn't have, we only had phones, real ones, and then if you had a cell phone, it was about 300 pounds, and you carried it around. I had an antenna that went about six feet up in the air. It was real impressive. Okay? That's how we started the business back then. But, you know, the thing that made my business successful, and this is what I, I'm not going to be here a long time, so what I want to kind of conclude. What made my business successful was I believed. I believed in myself and I believed in my business. And you know what? The Amway business was not easy to build. Because most people heard about it. Most people had a friend who got in it and lied to them or deceived them. So I had to deal with all of that stuff. And people used to say to me, oh, no, I've seen that. And my response was always the same. You've never seen it until I show it to you. Because I believed enough in me, and I knew if they, if they sat down with me for 35 or 40 minutes, my belief would come across on them and they would want to participate in whatever I was doing. It didn't matter what it was, right? The difference here is we have, I mean, Amway's a great company, a great product, but what you guys have here, you know, toilet paper never changed a life. Right? We never had toothpaste <laughs> testimonies. How are your teeth? Oh my God, they're transformed. <laughs> my family's never been the same. It's changed my life. But we didn't have that, right? So you guys, it's almost cheating how Paul's going to spend $200 million this year telling people about your products. It's not hard to talk to people about that stuff. Right? But it still has to go back to us. My first month in Amway, I sponsored 10 people. My check at the end of that month was $9.35, right? $9.35, I worked 80 hours, 20 hours a week. I worked all night as a cop, all day in construction, and I found 20 hours a week to build my Amway business, and I made $9.35. And I sponsored 10 people that month. And I'll guarantee you, I didn't have a check, and you say, you don't believe it works, check that out, dude. Look at that. $80, $9.35, you You know, some of these people always say you're worried, but people, if they're going to say, how much money are you really make? Here's the answer you always get. You wouldn't believe it. <laughs> and they would. <laughs> if it's not very much, they wouldn't believe it. And if it's a ton, they wouldn't believe it. So I'm not going to believe any of this. I'm just saying you wouldn't believe it. $9.35 in my first, t I sponsored 10 people. My second month, I sponsored 10 more. I made $40. So in two months, I brought 20 people into my business, and I made $49.35. The next 20, 24 years, um, 10 months, I sponsored 10 more people. In my whole history in Amway, I, spent, I worked it consistently for 25 years. I only brought in 30 people personally sponsored. And 20 of them I brought in in two months, making $49.35. How is that possible? I didn't have a huge car. I had a beat-up old car. I used to go to people's houses and show them the business. I'd park down the street so they wouldn't come out and see what I was driving. <laughs> I'm sure. Okay? Because, you know what? I just, I just, I just had a dream. And, I, and I, I knew there were people out there that were living an inconclusive life and wanted to have belief in themselves and wanted to change their life. And I had no doubt I could find some. And so, you know what, when I went and sat down with someone, as much as them joining the, the business I was in, they were joining me. And that's why I believe in third-party tools, and I think they're incredible. And using your upline, those kinds of things. But you sitting here today need to take responsibility to be able to communicate your story in a powerful way that when I sit down with you, I don't not want to be in business with you because I've never met anybody like you before. And if you come up with that ability, I promise you, you will sponsor a huge amount of people because the world's full of people today that are tired of what they're doing. They have no hope in their life. There's no place they really believe they can ever get again. They've given up on hope. They put the dreams in the attic. And you guys visit them every single day, whether it be at a Starbucks, whether it be at a fit club, and you're seeing people who are living this hopeless life. And all you have to do is be able to kind of take your eyes off yourself and realize it's not about you, it's about them. And we see life transformations like this right here. And all of a sudden, you learn to tell your story. And we all have a story. Because I promise you, some of the places where you've been in your life and what you've been through and some of your past, you probably shouldn't even be as good as you are right now. And you know what? Here's the difference. You've made a decision to take responsibility for your life. And all of you have a sweet spot. Okay, I don't believe most of us spend most of our life doing what we really want to do. We do other things instead. And I think those of you that are getting this business, like Lee and Dave, Michelle, and you know, Josh, and Toby, the leaders here, they finally get it. Dave, when I came in, Dave Hawking, I talked to him for five minutes. When he left, I go, that guy believes in this business. He didn't have to say it. He didn't have to say it. I just knew because of who he was and what he was saying and the passion that was coming out. See, that's what you guys need to be. Once you grasp that and understand it and believe in it and you go, you get all in, then I promise you people will join you in business. It doesn't matter how much money you're making, whether you're driving a new car or an old car. It doesn't matter.
because they want to be with someone who can win. And you guys represent that to them. And that's why they put on events like this. That's why you come to get a little bit more information each time. But really, when you leave today, what I challenge you to do is your takeaway from me is to go home today and sit down and get on a piece of paper and write down, hey, what is, what's the sweet spot in my life? What is it I'm really supposed to be doing with my life? And I think for most of you, you're going to realize that most of our purpose is to be significant in the lives of other people. And you have an opportunity today to do that in an unbelievable way because we have the greatest business that exists. I will match up relational marketing. If you haven't got my CD pack, listen to the one I did on relational marketing and what, how power of it. Because there's 16 points in there and you can sit down with any business owner you know and say, okay, point one, how does your business match up with this? Point two, how does your business match up with this? Point three, how does your business match up with this? They will fail on every count. This business we have, you guys, we have two opportunities, success and significance simultaneously. No other business offers that. Most of us spend our life trying to get money taken care of so we can start to live a significant life. Because if you sit down with people and say, what do you really want to do? It always has to do, I want to do a mission trip. I want to help the homeless. I want to help the cancer patients. It's all these things that drive us that are more significant than how much money we make. And we have an opportunity to see a life like this change. People's lives turn around. People live that never live. People that said, I can't look and couldn't look in the mirror in my life. And now say, I get up every morning and I'm proud of who I am. That's what you guys have. If you own that and grasp that, you won't stay home. You'll be out sharing this business every single day and sharing your lives with so many people. You have a great opportunity. We're sitting on the best network company that's ever existed. We're sitting here local right now. We're going to be global in three to five years. We'll have business in Singapore. I opened the Philippines with Amway. I was in Mexico. We opened there. We sent 10,000 people in 10 days in Mexico. I've seen the nation, the worldwide growth of a business like this. But when it's driven by passion, there's a mission statement that Carl represents of changing Redefining the individual life so as to redefine the health of the nation. Here's your responsibility. Redefine your individual life. Mm -hmm. Today, decide what that's going to look like and then go out and go after it. So look, thanks for letting me share with you guys. Yeah,